So it finally happened. PSO2 is coming west in 2020. After PAX West showing the game off. After players around the world being able to play the C version for a short time. It's finally coming to the west. This is an exciting time for anyone that still has not picked up this game. I'm really hoping that the release will find long-term success, so future Fantasy Star releases will come to the West. But to be honest, my reaction is not that enthusiastic. Now, I'm not putting down the work Sega is doing to bring this game over, but there are several things that spring to my mind, all centered on how the Garal series, aka Fantasy Star Universe and Portable, were brought to the West. Looking back into the history of the series a bit, Fantasy Star Universe in the West had two versions a PC PlayStation 2 version, and an Xbox 360 version, with no cross-play between the two servers. In addition, only the Xbox 360 version was connected with Japanese players, and, well, let's be honest, the 360 didn't sell, like, at all in Japan. Both of these versions were grossly out of date compared to the Japanese version. In addition, gamers in the West never even got the chance to experience Fantasy Star Portable 2 Infinity, the sequel to Fantasy Star Portable 2. To put it simply, Sega has a lot of work to do in order to impress me, outside of going to the Western version to enjoy the official story translation going forward. I'll probably continue regular play on the Japanese servers unless certain things are done that make me want to jump over on a permanent basis. Here are the top 5 things I need to see in order to jump permanently to the English version. First, use the right terminology. The Southeast Asian version became a laughing stock when it released, don't call forces wizards, don't call monomates health drinks, and don't screw with the phantom. The origins for many of the techniques in the Fantasy Star series are based on German. Number 2. I noticed the Microsoft Azure logo. Trying to make this game successful in the West won't work if you release only the cloud version, especially where much of the US still only can get online via satellite or DSL. I want to see the full-blown install version. Number 3. Release content at the same time as the Japanese version. One of the reasons Fantasy Star Universe failed in the West is because by the time the closure of the PS2 PC servers was announced, the PS2 PC version was a year behind the Japanese version in content. Number 4. You're coming into the US at a very precarious time as senators are talking about banning loot boxes. That's effectively what your gotcha system is. But for me, it's fine as it is and I'm sure there are other ways to handle it should that come to pass. What I don't want to see is what we saw in the Southeast Asia version. I don't want to see stats on costumes. Number 5. I want to play on the same ships as the Japanese players. To be honest, number 3 and 4 can be wiped out in one fell swoop by doing this. This keeps everyone on the same playing field, and those that have played the game for years don't lose the work they've done. Sega has even done this already in supporting the PlayStation Vita, PlayStation 4, and Nintendo Switch versions. Players that had played on the PC version before could access all their items because the accounts were linked. Of course, there are more things that you could do, but some of them just wouldn't make sense to ask for until this sees success. And really, that's what I want. I want this game to be successful in the West. I want gamers that didn't want to go through the hassle of beating the CAPTCHA boss or using the tweaker to set up the fan translation to finally get a chance to play this game. And now they will, in 2020. And I hope they all react to it in a very positive light. I built my channel to largely archive not just only Fantasy Star Online 2, but the games of the whole series. I've done Let's Plays of the initial releases of each of the subseries, Algol, Ragol, Grawl, and Oracle, and I'm going to continue down this path in the future. I grew up with these games, and this is my number one favorite video game series in the world, hands down. That's why I put so much time and effort into it. Sega, I wish you the best of luck with this release, and I hope this community can come together to make it a success by getting others to try it out.